Welcome back to the Pray Jesus Everyday Channel. Today we invite you on an extraordinary journey beyond the boundaries of life itself. These stories are particularly fascinating for those who believe in Christianity and see in them a confirmation of life beyond life, a theme that continues to inspire and intrigue. Please stay with us only if you are ready to approach these testimonies with respect and openness. Not everyone is able to listen to them, but if you are willing to do so, you will discover profound and enlightening insights into our existence and our ultimate destiny. These experiences offer us the opportunity to better understand what awaits us after death and invite us to reflect on the meaning of our current life. We invite everyone to comment, subscribe to the channel, and share these extraordinary stories. Now sit back and enjoy the story. My name is Emily and I am a nurse at a large hospital in New York. I love my job because it allows me to help people in their time of need, even though it can be incredibly stressful at times. My life changed radically on a spring day in 2024 during a particularly hectic shift in the emergency room. I couldn't imagine that that day would mark the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would transform my existence and I hope the entire world. It was an afternoon like many others, but with an unexpected influx of patients, road accidents, medical emergencies, and a few overdose cases had filled every available bed. I was running back and forth between rooms, trying to keep everything under control. At one point, I felt a sharp pain in my chest. My breathing became labored, and before I could realize it, the world began to blur. I fell to the ground, and the world around me went dark. What happened next is difficult to describe precisely. I found myself in a tunnel of light, a place that emanated indescribable peace. I felt no pain, just a sense of lightness and tranquility. I floated in an ethereal space, surrounded by a warm and enveloping light. I sensed a presence nearby, a luminous figure slowly approaching. When the figure was finally close enough, I recognized the gentle features of an elderly woman. Her skin was glowing, her hair white as snow, and her eyes emanated infinite wisdom. She introduced herself as Anna, a guiding spirit, and explained that I was in a near-death state. I felt confused and scared, but her presence was incredibly reassuring. Emily, she said in a melodious voice, I am here to show you something very important. Come with me. Without saying a word, she took my hand, and suddenly I found myself floating above the world. I saw the earth below us, but it was not the earth I knew. The scene changed rapidly, and Anna explained that she was showing me the future. The first vision that appeared before my eyes was devastating. I saw destroyed cities, people fleeing in search of refuge, soldiers fighting in a ruthless war. The pain and suffering were palpable, and my heart broke to see so much destruction. Anna held my hand tightly, instilling me with courage. This is the war that is about to come, she said sadly, but do not fear, there is hope. The scene changed again, and I saw 2025, the war had ended, though I couldn't tell if it was the beginning or the end, but the destruction was giving way to reconstruction. People were coming together, working together to rebuild what had been destroyed. I felt a deep emotion of hope and rebirth. I saw world leaders shaking hands, signing peace treaties, and a new era of collaboration and harmony was beginning to emerge. The war will end thanks to the joint efforts of many people, Anna explained. Ordinary people like you, who work tirelessly to unite, heal, and rebuild. She also showed me how small acts of kindness and individual courage could have a huge impact. I saw people who, despite fear and pain, continued to reach out to others, offering help and hope. It was a powerful and moving vision. I felt a strong desire to do my part. How can I help? I asked Anna, my heart filled with determination. 
You have the gift of healing with your work, Emily, she replied. Use this gift not only to heal bodies, but also to unite people. Share what you have seen, spread hope and peace. Your story can inspire many to make a difference. The light began to fade and I felt myself returning to my body. I opened my eyes in the hospital bed, surrounded by my worried colleagues. They had revived me and I was back in the earthly world. Anna's words still resonated in my mind. My life changed radically from that day. Not only did I return to work with renewed energy and passion, but my work in the hospital continued. Every patient was an opportunity to put Anna's teachings into practice. I treated each person with renewed kindness and compassion, aware of the importance of every small gesture. My reputation as an empathetic and caring nurse spread and people began to seek my help, not only to heal their bodies, but also to find comfort and hope. Time passed, and my mission to spread the message of peace and hope grew. Despite all the changes and new responsibilities, my goal remained the same, to spread hope and work for peace. My near-death experience had become my guide, a beacon of light showing me the way forward. Every day I woke up with the awareness that every small act of kindness, every act of courage could make a difference. I was determined to continue fighting for a better world, a world of peace and understanding. Looking back, I realize how much that vision transformed my life. I was no longer just a nurse. I had become a voice for peace, a symbol of hope, and as the world continued to heal and grow, I knew that Anna and the other luminous souls were watching over us, encouraging us never to lose hope and to keep working for peace. The road ahead was still long, but I knew that together we could make a difference. And with this awareness in my heart, I continued to tell my story, to inspire change, and to work for a better future for all. If you have listened to my story all the way through, comment with an amen below. I will surely read it, and if I can, I will answer your questions. God bless you.